Hey everybody, we have another tutorial of HTML and CSS and today we're going to use those two things to uh, create and modify a table for your web page. So I created two files to start with like we have on our other various tutorials. Uh, one of them is called index.html, the other is called styles.css. Styles.css doesn't have anything in there. Index.html um, has this information. So again, these two uh, pages, these two files are saved in the same folder. It's important that they're saved in the same folder. Then on the index.html, you can pause this if you need more time to get this, but this is from our skeleton tutorial. Doc type HTML, we have our HTML tags. In the head section, we have a title, our Medicare set, UTF-8. And then we have our link to connect this h or this HTML to our CSS file. So href style dot CSS rel equals style sheet type equals text slash CSS. Up here in the title, we can just call this um, table tutorial. That'll work. And then down here in the body section, this is where we're going to put our table for this here. Okay, so let's look at this here and go into the body section. We'll go ahead and start entering our table right now. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to put in our table tag. And we're going to give this a style, an inline style while we're here. So table style equals... with 100 percent okay so we have that first part right there that's pretty easy then right underneath that we can go ahead and put in a caption in here and we will call this uh, template for table tutorial and then we'll close the caption. So that works out pretty good. Then underneath that, we're going to use a TR tag. And so we'll use these a lot with our table. Inside the TR tag, we're going to put in two TH tags. Okay, so we got TH right here. And I'm just going to call this one column one. And then I'm going to close the th tag. Then underneath that, I'm going to put column two in this. So this would be any kind of text that you want to be in your in your headings for your spreadsheet or for your table. All right. So we have those two things in there, and I'm going to also close the TR and then down here I'm also right above the close closing of the body I'm going to close on here I'm going to close out uh, my table I made a typo here there we go okay so uh, we got a TR TH column 1 TH column 2 I'm going to save this and run this in Chrome just so we can see how this is looking while we work on this. And you can see on here, uh, we basically have a table right here of that information. Um, got something previously on there. Okay, there. That's what it should look like. So we have template for the table tutorial, that's our caption, and then we have our first two cells of our table right there at the top. So pretty easy uh, to get us started right there. So this table we're going to make is just going to have two columns and uh, five or so rows. Okay, so underneath that little part we're going to open up a new TR tab. And now we're ready for like the information that we would enter in for our data for this chart or for this table. Okay, uh, so we're going to start off with TR, but under TR, instead of using a TH this time, we're going to use TD. All right, 
and then here I'm just going to go data one it doesn't really matter what we do this is just for a tutorial kind of thing so you can see how uh, these elements work with each other and then after that I'm going to create another TD tag here and I'm just going to type in a number okay it doesn't really matter what and then I'm going to put in here the closure of my TD and then I'm going to close this TR here alright so I'm going to save that I'm going to go back to Chrome and hit refresh and you'll see the difference here between the TH and the TDs that we used um, these right here with the THs you see that's bold and it's centered in with the where the cells are and then the TDs are left aligned by default and not bold so you can kind of see that there alright so uh, because this is a hundred percent for the width it's a little bit responsive it doesn't hide anything uh, from the data there it kind of compresses everything down and keeps it um, fitting inside of this browser window pretty nicely okay uh, we're gonna add more to this cell so we have or to this table so we have some things to manipulate so I'm copying this line 17 through 20 this TR along with the TD data and the other TD data in the final uh, closing of the TR I'm going to paste that three more times alright so I'm gonna go one so here's two three so I have four sets of data uh, for this information uh, and then I'm gonna change the text a little bit just so you can see how this all works so I'm just gonna change those and I'm just gonna change my numbers by one pretty easy right nothing major uh, control s to save and I'm gonna look back in here okay now we see how all this data is stacked on here for our table okay so this is pretty much everything we have as far as the HTML part goes it just gives us the bare bones minimum table and then we like to do all of our styling and making it look fancy and, and more um, pleasant and all that kind of stuff with our cascading style sheet so go ahead and go to your styles.css file or whatever you decided to name it and then up here I just put this comment CSS document for table tutorial by B. Peterson. So we have all of that information there. So that makes it pretty easy to remember what this is actually used for. Alright and then um, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll start off formatting the table. So we'll type in table and use our fancy brackets and I'm going to use border collapse collapse and so anytime you use this it collapses double cell borders within your table so that's our uh, first thing we have there I'm also going to put in here width of this table I want it to be 70 percent all right and then we're going to go margin as we do most of the time auto for this and then we can go ahead and close up our first style here I'm gonna save this and we're gonna go back here and refresh and it's not gonna make a lot of changes it's you're gonna see it just kinda moves things around a little bit alright still has a little bit of response to it nothing too major okay now underneath that we're gonna make another couple of um, style changes to two different elements remember we can give the same styles to multiple elements by just typing them and separating them with a comma. So I, we want to style our TD and the TH elements that we tagged in our HTML. So we'll put both of those there separated by a comma and then using our fancy bracket I'm going to go border is one pixel and I'm going to go solid black and a semicolon then after that I'm going to go padding 8 pixels 
semicolon and close up our brackets here all right let's see what we got now I save that refresh and now you can see we have a little bit of a padding around the information in our cells from the table and uh, we have these black borders around which make them easier to see so that's kind of a cool a little thing there to make your table actually visible. Sometimes you'll want those borders to show up, sometimes you won't uh, won't want them to. It just kind of depends on what you're trying to accomplish with this with this table. All right, the next section we have is we want to add an element to our TR headings. And so I'm going to go TR colon and I want to go nth child all right, nth child, we have two options we can do for this. We can go even or odd. Okay, so since I'm, I want to go even for this, I'm going to type even. If I wanted it to do this to every odd uh, row, then I would do every odd. I would type odd instead of even. Okay, so that should be easy to remember. Uh, so I'm going to go tr nth child even. And what do I want to do with each of those? I'm going to go background color and let's just go d d d d d d 60s all right and that'll give us kind of a light color so you can kind of see what's going on with this and i'm gonna end that with uh don't forget the semicolon and then your fancy bracket to close it now i save that and i'm going to refresh my screen now and you can see we have that nice light gray so maybe you know it's kind of hard to follow if this was an actual real long chart we had to follow the information on you know sometimes if you shade alternate the shadings of the rows it makes it easier to follow the information along there and to, and to not accidentally skip down a row or something like that when you're reading the information another thing you could do maybe with this you don't maybe want these black borders to be so bold and um, let it be a little more subtle so we could go up here for solid and instead of black we could uh, change black to pound sign d d d d d d and save and then when we go back here and look now we still have the borders but it kind of ties in a little bit more nicely to the uh, shaded in area where it matches so a little easier on the eyes maybe it's up to you on how you want to do uh, your table this is just kind of showing you different ways how we can edit it okay uh, so we have that that works out good and then let's go ahead and go and make a style for our caption and we'll go font weight and we could go bold and then we'll go font size 1.5 em so this is like a different way instead of using uh, like the sizes of fonts that we would if it was 12 or 24 or whatever this is going to make our font size 1.5 size bigger than the um, than the original default font that we used Okay, so I'm going to close that right there. Saved it. And you'll see this here. See how small this text is here. Fresh, and now it's bigger. Okay, so 1.5 times the size. And we have this um, also as bold right now. So um, that's kind of the basics as far as how it goes for putting together a simple type of spreadsheet okay so that works pretty good uh, here's some other things that we can do so you know maybe save this and kinda make those changes and that kinda thing to it and let's go ahead and I'm gonna change this stuff in here actually you know what I'm just going to erase this stuff to be honest I'm gonna erase that and I'm gonna go back to my index and I'm gonna start creating a newer type of 
a table just so you can see some other things we can do okay so I'm gonna leave the table part on there everything else inside I'm gonna erase alright and I'm also gonna take out this style here for the table this up here I can leave I'm not gonna really change if you wanted to you could call this table tutorial 2 you know it's it's kind of up to you but uh, we have our table there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna type in TR kinda like we started last time and I'm gonna use TH and this time uh, we're gonna make a table that's three columns wide okay so uh, but the way we're gonna do this different this time is I want my top instead of me using a caption I'm just gonna have my top cell of my table span the distance of three regular cells okay so I'm gonna go TR and then underneath that TH and I'm gonna go call span alright so I'm gonna column span this equals and I'm gonna go three because I want it to be three cells wide and then after that I'm just gonna put on there this is one long cell alright and then I'm gonna go ahead and close up that TH okay so that's the first thing I have there alright now that I'm done with that part I can also close up my TR tag Okay, so the first the first section is done. Let's save that. Let's uh, look at this here. This is one long cell. It doesn't look like it's one long cell because we haven't added our other stuff. But our HTML is showing the stuff there. So so far so good. Okay, so we got that first part done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another TR. And underneath this TR, I'm going to go add another TH and this one is going to be a row span so if call span is how many columns it's going to take up row span is going to be how many rows this is going to be all right so i'm going to go row span equals quotation marks two and then i'm going to go this is a tall row yeah that'll work and then I'm gonna close up this TH and then I'm gonna close up this TR okay so I'm saving that going to refresh here this is a tall row alright so we're stacking this stuff here and nothing special really yet but as we continue to move on we'll We'll take a look at this and see what's going on. Okay, so underneath that we can go and we can add another TR. And actually, you know what? I, there is something I want to do up here. After this is a tall row and then I have that TH. After the TH but before I close my TR, I want to... Let's go ahead and add a couple more of the columns to this, okay? So here I'm going to go TD, and I'm going to go, here is data, here, I'm just going to do what I did last time, data1, alright, and then I'm going to close that TD, and then over here, I'm going to add one more TD, and here I'm just going to put in a number. All right, so we have that part done. Now let's save that and look back in here. And we can see this, is, since these are TDs, it's not bold or anything. And this over here is kind of our stuff we had before, right? Okay. So that looks pretty good. And I think now we can kind of minimize this. And now... 
in my next TR section, I'm going to put in just two TDs. All right, so TD, and I'm going to put inside this. I'm going to go uh, data two and close the TD. And then we have TD here, and I'm going to put a two here and then close that tag right there. And now we can close this TR. Okay, so we'll save that. Make sure things are working the way they should. And you'll see here, this row right here, this is for data 1 and 2. And the information 1 and 2, alright? Alright, now we can uh, go down here and... Just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to select this part right here, This, all of this information. And I'm going to enter that down here. All right. I'm going to keep the row span as two. All right. So we'll have two rows for each of these big cells we're adding here. And then I'm going to say this is another tall row all right and then here I'm gonna go data 3 and then I'm gonna type a 3 here just to change the information and then I'm gonna go data 4 and then I'm gonna change this information to 4 so I'll save in that hit refresh and now we have this information here onto this okay so that information is all there looks fine and now we can go into our CSS style and let's um, make some of those changes so let's go table and let's go ahead and go border collapse and set it to collapse and then I'm going to go with, let's go 80%. And then margin, we will go auto. All right. And then after that, we'll go down a few times. And this time I'm going to go, um, let's go TD. and th and we can go let's go border one pixel solid black and then we can use that padding again too we'll go padding five pixels All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, and let's see where we're at with our table. So when I hit refresh, we can see here now where this is starting to kind of look a little bit more like a chart. Okay, so we have those. Um, border one pixel solid black here we go and now our chart you can see how uh, this looks when we have our cells span multiple either columns or multiple rows. Okay, so in this tutorial we've talked about how to make tables. We've talked about how to change the border. Uh, we talked about how to shade in alternate rows. Uh, we've shown how to um, do the styling with all that on the CSS and then to have our top 
cell go the span of three of these cells and then also uh, we've had these uh, side cells span multiple cells with that so really you don't have to think of a of a table as uh, being like 10 by 10 necessarily if if you want to use something with a table to arrange your web page and you and you need to modify some of these to make some of these bigger than multiple cells you can do that um, so hopefully between these kind of two little mini tutorials you are able to find a little bit about tables and you you can find ways to incorporate those into your web page so thanks for watching and have a great day